you can actually see his eyes. Hello everybody, my name is Padjusho, and welcome back to more Let's Play King Mart 2 Bomb Mix part of my Path to King Mart 3 Let's Play series. Last time, uh, we completed the Book of Pooh, or Winnie the Pooh's World, 100, 100 Acre Woods. And, uh, we're about to find out, uh, you know, who's been stealing, uh, the presents from Santa. Yep, that, and, uh, I want you guys to, you know, subscribe to the channel because, you know, I upload every single day except Sunday because Sunday is my birthday. Uh, well, not every, well, sometimes, you know. There's a few Sundays where I upload stuff, and that's, you know, unboxing and all that. But anyway, let's continue on. We had to head up back to the second floor and see what's going on. Oh, oh yeah, we, we got, you know, wraps the presents as a decoy. We gotta talk to this elf. So creepy. So let's make some presents. Okay, use a cannon to shoot the toys into empty boxes. Press triangle to reload. Okay. Reload. And here comes Lock Shot and Barrel. They're gonna try kick the boxes out so you don't, you know, oh, you know, fill them up. God, that, that dude is so annoying. There we go. It wasn't that bad. Not quite. There's more? Don't worry, I'll take care of the rest. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Well, uh... Well... The decoy presents, I believe... Yep. Part of items. But anyway, let's con let's do this. We're ready. This buzzer should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do. Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the crew. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go! It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Shh. I found a Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Gotcha. 
Huh? Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! Okay, so here we have the experiment. Let's try to take him out pretty fast. Okay, so I believe this boss has two forms. This is the first one, and then another form where he splits himself apart. Okay. Big spring. Big spring. Kick spring. Kick spring, come on. Ow, ow. And come on. This is it. Back off. Yeah. HP went up. That's good. The mystery is solved. Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm. The doctor's made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Now, this Keyblade, this Keyblade is freaking amazing. Great number of combos landed and more damage dealt with the strong finishing move. This Keyblade is awesome, especially with, uh, you know, uh, dry forms like basically dry forms with, with two keyblades which is basically all of them except two it is a great keyblade i highly recommend that that you equip that and then you know equip the roaming roses to you know uh, interesting you know. so the puppet wasn't stolen after all it ran away on its own in other words my experiment was an overwhelming success Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween!
What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. You've given me the nicest present in the world. And I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not the gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart. You bet. Diamonds won't settle. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? My god. What's that? That big thing? Maybe that's the source of the weird reading we picked up before. Oh boy. And uh. there's something funny about Twilight Town. I'm seeing two of them. Look, it's another huge energy reading, and it's coming from some place near the town. I don't know what's going on, fellas, but it sure looks there's some big trouble brewing around Twilight Town. Yikes, oh boy. Oh boy. The world that never was. Oh boy. Look how huge this place is. God dang. But I don't think we can land there yet, even though it says we can. But look at that battle of level 50. And our path to Twilight Town has been blocked. So I'm guessing to reach the one that never was, we have to go through the Salt of Dreadnought and through Twilight Town. But before that, we got do some worlds so uh, like like I said before that cutscene you know, kind of interrupted me uh you got the uh decided to pumpkin it's best equipped for two keyblades like especially like a keyblade like a uh, rumbling rose with which you know provides you know lots of combos and all that anyway let's land in the private Wow, 
It's you guys. Man, we were hoping you were a meal. Hiya. Don't give me any of that Hiya stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba! <laughs> Simba! <laughs> That's enough! Go on then. See for yourself. Simba is one wishy-washy king. Yeah, I bet about now even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, let's go find Simba and see. Scar? Huh? A ghost? We better tell Simba about this. Wonder if he's up there. Okay, so, Firelands. Let's, uh, you know, equip that new keyway of ours. This ice is pumpkin. Like, these two have, like, like, basically the highest strength and magic. Well, sweet memory, but, uh. Okay, so ability, so that's new ability. Jackpot, okay. Mm, let's see what Rafiki has to say about Simba and all that. Well, Rafiki, Dave Kingston, just telling us oh, where to go and all that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Have you come to see Simba? We saw Scar's ghost. An omen like that could only mean, can only be foretelling the end of our pride. Yet King Simba won't do a thing. I guess just being the son of the great Mufasa doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to rule the kingdom himself. Trust me, Simba will think of something. Time for thinking is past. We need him to take action, as his father will, will have done. He ruled with courage and pride. I remember like it was yesterday, the mighty Mufasa. Simba will do all that, you'll see. I'm not sure. Wait here. I want to talk to Simba. Okay, hey, Simba. Simba, Simba. You came back. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Hey Simba, why don't we team up and do something about that Scar Ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it, so now's your big chance to show him what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Sorry. It's okay. I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. And that means the important thing is what you're gonna do being the king, not what your father would have done. So you're saying it's all up to me? See? There you go. Exactly. Yep, yep, yep. We know your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. 
Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today and find your own path. Live for today and find my own path, not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. <laughs> Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. <laughs> Great, now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> 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 Let's go see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost. And so we we'll learn the running tackle. Whatever that is. Running tackle. Unleash rapid spin rapid tackle on a single target while dashing while attacking during dash, okay? So, holding square next. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see if there's anything up here at the peak. Okay, so in the original King Hearts game, uh, King Hearts 2, this place would be great for, you know, grinding experience with the gold ring and the experience boost. But unfortunately, Square Enix changed that for, you know, 2.5. So that's, you know, that kind of sucks. And there would be, you know, like a huge, you know, lot of them. I don't know why there's only one pairing. Okay, so let's head on down. Let's go. Wait. I thought we had to leave. Oh, Rafiki. Yo, Raf, Raf, Rafiki. Oh ho ho, the king. He is ready to be king? I think so. Can you tell us about Scar's ghost? Oh yes, the ghost. A being with no body. It is clear when the evil heart of Scar meets the hesitation, the hesitating heart of Simba. Hesitating? Oh. You thought you were not? Gosh, that ghost sounds like sounds just like Heartless. Hmm, I don't know. You're right, you don't. But you do know it is upsetting. And it is upsetting the heart of everybody in the Pride Lands. You may not know what it is, but it still is. This world is full of many such things. And these things a king must face. It is the test that has been set for you, Simba. That's all? Come on. You have to tell us more about the ghosts. No, not today. But the hyenas in the elephant graveyard may know more. Does not matter, though. There's... There's little of late... Uh, there's little the Simba of late can do. Oh, well, don't say that. Not when he's ready to try. In his head, perhaps. But what about his heart? Forget it, Sora. Let's head for the Elfin Grave. <clears throat> okay, so. <clears throat> Elfin Graveyard. Let's head on over there. Let's quickly head on over there. Oh, Scar's ghost. So we can actually fight it. And then it'll disappear. Man, if we had our human body, it would be so much cooler. Uh, 
Uh, I believe we're here. Not the elephant graveyard. Cause oh, oh over here. <clears throat> no, no, it's over here. Uh, I kind of mistake that made a mistake. This tusk. Leave us alone. Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? Huh? Scar's ghost? <laughs> Maybe. You do know. Okay, so we got to feed Senji, Bonsai, and Ed. And they are kind of difficult to catch. I don't know how they're able to do that, but... Come back over here! Just no, just run out of there. Okay, there's one. You know, if you need me, just go quick finisher. Just use match. Match is basically your best friend if you want to finish something off with a finisher. Okay, where, where, some of it should be with them. Oh. God dang. Okay, uh. one more. We got another accessory slot. Oh no! I guess you caught us all. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Scar's ghost. Sorry, 
We don't know nothing. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. That's the one that only hangs out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king, hmm? Why, you must be a truly inspiring leader by now. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. Where are you going? Ah, Simba, running away as always. Simba! <laughs> <laughs> Gorge, Rafiki was right. You mean Simba's still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm. We should start by talking to Simba some more. Let's head back to the Pride Lands. Where's Simba? Well, uh... Oh, he ran away. I knew it would not be easy for him. To face his fears, he must go somewhere where the only thing to think of is what to do. Not what others think of him. Why didn't you just say so? But where's Simba now? Hey, I know, he's at the Oasis. 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 It's our favorite hangout. Got it, let's check it out. I'll lead the way. Oh no you won't. Simba will smell you coming from a mile away. And if he's smart, he'll run from where the hills. Oh, right. And Simba's out. Okay, MP Rage. Uh, we can equip. Yo, Donald, uh, I'm gonna need that Oritakum ring back, uh, yeah. What's the second? Uh, in terms of magic. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. I want my calcum back. It's mine. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're gonna call this an episode, guys. I like, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, because I upload every single day. Check out the links in the description below for all my social media links. And I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play King Part 2 Bomb Mix. I'll see you guys then. Power out. Yeah.